Hello and welcome to another episode of Know Your Faith series. I am Collins and today we'll be talking about what we can do when or what happens when we face tribulations and temptations. Now St. Paul in the first letter to the Corinthians in chapter 10 verse 13 says, Every test that you have experienced is the kind that normally comes to people. But God keeps his promise and he will not allow you to be tested beyond your power to remain firm. At the time you are put to test, he will give you the strength to endure it and so provide you with a way out. Now, the truth is that we live in a world full of temptations and sin is everywhere. Temptation is not new. It's always going to, it's going to come up. We face it every day. So what happens where we feel like it's just too much and we just have to we have to just fall or I feel like they, we, we can't resist. What can we do and how do we overcome such things? First of all, the Bible lets us know that it is not possible to face something that we cannot handle. God will not put us in a situation or in place us in a situation where we cannot handle or be able to escape, you know, find a route out. That's not possible. So the Bible response, the Bible's response to this fear is that it says, Overcoming any temptation is entirely possible. And in this letter that I just read out from St. Paul, he says that, he points out that there is nothing that is new. And there's a common saying that nothing is new under the face of the earth. So the truth is, any temptation or any trial that you're facing now, somebody somewhere has faced it before. Not to take away the hardship from it, but it's the truth. There's nothing that is really new. There's nothing that you're going to face. Yes, things may change in some sort, or, you know, evolve, but it has happened before and somebody somewhere has tried to overcome it. So it's not going to be, it's not peculiar. It's not like, it's not only you, okay, to put it that way. It's, it's not, you're not the first person and you probably won't be the last. So it's important to know that if somebody else has probably escaped or tried to run away from that temptation, then you can do the same. St. Paul reminds us that God is still here for us. That he's, he's not there to say, he's not testing you or if you face uh, tribulation, God is not there to say, okay, wait, let me see whether he will fail or let me see what he will do. No, he's always there. What we just have to try to do is try to reach out, try to actually communicate with God in prayer. I know that sometimes these things are not as easy as they say, but it's important that you actually make the effort to try to do them. God is always going to be there for us, so we just have to try to stretch out our hands and reach out to him. Finally, St. Paul adds that the promise that God will always make a way out is forever there. There's always going to be a way out. There's going to be an escape route. We can see um, Joseph when he faced Potiphar's wife. That was a very tough situation, but he escaped it. Now, even from Joseph's story, this is not to say that when you escape it, it will probably be, you know, all rosy and very smooth from there. Joseph still faced unnecessary consequence. So it's very important for us to know that we can't really tell what might happen even after running away from that temptation. But it's important that we try to, you know, always run away from these things. So to reflect again, the first is that St. Paul lets us know that there is nothing new that you're facing. People have faced these tribulations. It is hard. He knows and I know and we all know. But it's important to know that it is not new. And if another person has done it, you can do it. He also reminds us that God is always there for us. So we just have to try to reach out and he would definitely, definitely support us. And finally, he lets us know that God always, always gives us an escape route. There's always a way to go. So just try and be patient, pray and try to find a way out. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe to our channel at Dominica Media Presents on YouTube. And you can visit our website, www.dominicanmedia.com.ng to find out ways in which you can be of help. So till I come your way next time, be bold and be Catholic.